get to know us video and we're gonna tell you stuff about us so that you know a little bit more about us. So I'm gonna go ahead and start and tell you a little bit about my background. So I am from Jacksonville, Florida. I was born in Houston, Texas and we moved to Louisville, Kentucky and Fort Wayne, Indiana, which is where my sister was born. We and then we moved to Jacksonville, Florida. I'm not a military brat. I grew up non military. So we just moved a lot for my dad's job and I would rather spend the rest of my life in Texas because that was one of my favorite place, places that I've lived and it was, Texas is really big and pretty and that has a lot of good food in Texas. Florida was okay, I'm not, I wasn't a big fan of Florida, it's too much, it's too much of a touristy state for me and I don't really like the beaches so it's, it was okay, and uh, oh, I am hearing impaired. I am hard of hearing. I can hear very well with my hearing aid, and but it is currently broken, so I haven't been wearing it, which really sucks now because everybody's wearing masks, so it makes it really hard for me to hear because I read lips when I don't have it in, which is frustrating with me not being able to hear right now and I know sign language because I went to a deaf school I went to Florida school for the deaf and the blind and I was in the deaf department and I was there for about eight years I would say and that's where I learned sign language I can still sign but I don't because Mikkel doesn't know sign so I feel like it's silly for me to sign I'm learning so, I'm learning yeah he's learning um, and I have a lot of hearing friends right now than I do deaf friends. I don't really talk to anybody that's deaf anymore, and if I do, I can still sign. Um, I would like to teach my baby how to sign I very early on, so that is one thing I would like to do. And I was in the dorm for five years. <laughs> Excuse me. So I was in the dorm throughout my high school. Yeah, I was in the dorm when I was in high school, and I wasn't in the dorms during middle school. But I mean, it was okay. I would stay in the dorm from Sunday night to like Thursday Friday, night, yeah. and I would go home on Friday after school for the weekend, and then repeat and stuff. So I was basically in the dorm for a week, and it was. Kind of nice actually because you're with your friends all the time and it was easier to get to sports activity and stuff like that. But I don't miss high school at all. It's, you know, like every other high school, you know, sucks. <laughs> but I did learn a lot throughout those years and yeah, that's my background and where I grew up. And I, the only reason why I go back to Florida is because my parents still live there. But I would love to live in Texas one day for the rest of my life. It's, I just can't right now because he's in the military. And unfortunately, I can't live in Texas right now. But if it wasn't for my parents, I would not be going back to Florida, honestly. I pray that they move to Texas so that I can visit there all the time. But, yeah. Hey guys, I'm Lisa's uh, husband. Uh, this is gonna give you a little background about me. I have like, I am a military brat, the first I mentioned it. I moved around only to like two locations. Uh, I went to Fitch and Radford High School where I, I am not hearing impaired. Um, it is difficult sometimes to hear Lisa, cause, or not. Uh, honestly, it's not that hard to hear Lisa. If you play video I'm games with me, if you, if you play video games with me, you're gonna hear her in the background screaming <laughs> at me. Um, I'm still working on the sign language. Don't get me wrong. Um, she says what to me like three thousand times. Like if I make a facial expression, she'll stare at me. Like just because like, she, she likes to. Um, okay, so if you 
uh, went to school with me and you're deaf and you are hard of hearing or something, then you know the struggle. My biggest pet peeve is when somebody talks to me and they walk away or they turn their back on me so because I to have to read lips. So if you walk away from me while you're talking, I'm not going to be able to hear what you say. And he does that throughout the day a lot. So it's frustrating because I can't hear him half the time. But yeah, bye. Bye. You done? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so hobbies, I like to like... Uh, <laughs> he went off that topic. <laughs> yeah, like, it's just like, she just like... <sighs> Anyways, um, hobbies, I do like to take pictures now. It's a new hobby for me. Just with this whole... Uh, her, her channel has made me like want to mess with more with photography. I did just buy an ADD DSLR camera. That's why, that's what we're recording on today. Um, I do like to play video games. I like sports. I like to just go out. I like going shopping, and my favorite thing to do is sleep. So if you ever catch if you ever catch me in any of her videos, most times it's shot in the morning. So it's hard for me to be like, "Oh, hey guys, I'm not I'm not that type of person in the morning." You can ask always. Am I? She has an hour. She she gives herself an hour of prep before each video, so don't be surprised if you see her all happy and excited. And we wake up at the same time though. No. Yeah. I go to bed later. I have a problem. I like to stay up late. Yeah, that's not my problem. That's your problem. Anyways, but so if you ever see me like, oh, why is Mikel making the, or, or just like me doing these hand movements, it's just helping me wake up. Okay, so that's just how I am as a person. Um. Yes, I am in the military. Uh, I've been in for four and a half years. I've done one tour to Afghanistan, one one operational deployment to uh, Puerto Rico. That was a great experience. Uh, I wouldn't have been able to do any of that without her. Her support, um, being able to pay the bills when I was gone, watching Rex, watching Ebony. You know, it's never easy just being a spouse of someone that's in the military. So I appreciate you for everything that you do. So, uh, if you don't know, we're going to get into our dogs. So, oh, I know Elisa wants to speak about Red. So, I will start with our history. If you, don't, if you didn't watch the pregnancy video, I talked a little bit about our um, history and how we met and stuff. So, we met on Instagram my senior year, and we were talking for a couple months, and then my she, senior She's year, older than me, by the way. I don't want you guys to be like... What? Elisa's older than me. Oh yeah, he's um, 22 and I'm 23. I'm a year older. So I graduated at 19 I, um, because I was held back in third grade. So um, when he came to visit me my senior year for Christmas, he asked me to marry him. So we got married in Fort Drum, which is our first duty station. So we we're stationed in Fort Drum, New York, which is a small town. It's near Syracuse, if you know that area. And it's very... It's a cool. little town uh, <laughs> called Watertown. Like Watertown. Yeah, you'll yeah. never hear about it. But it's, it was a... We have a lot of good memories there because that's where we started off. That's where we got married. We got a dog there. And I moved to Fort Drum um, the summer that I graduated which is really hard for me because I had to leave my family and stuff. But after a while, like, it's easier. Um, it, it, being a military wife, is I knew it was going to be hard, but it as time goes on, it gets easier, and you start to understand more about the military, and you get more comfortable with the military, especially me, because I did not have military background at all until I met him. And I swore I would never marry a military man because I didn't want to be away from my family. Well, it happened. But it, it's a good thing because you get to go, go to places you've never been to before and there's a lot of good things about the military. And when we moved to Fort Drum, we got Rex, uh, the Jack Russell, a couple months after and we got him as a pound. On my birthday, on after birthday. my duty. After my duty. I was tired. Like I was barely like walking into the pound with a pounding headache because duty you stay up 24 hours you can't sleep um i, I was the nco in charge of the cq so like no no actually i wasn't i was actually a soldier i was a private never mind as i was anyways 
Um, so like I was barely awake when we got Rex. Um, and at the beginning, he was a very he tricked us. He was a good dog. He he was dirty, you know, because the pound does not really take care of the dogs. And super that's skinny why too. Huh? He was super skinny too, wasn't he? Yeah, he was really skinny, and he had pee on him. So. He, the, uh, that's why I'm really big on rescuing dogs from the pound is because I feel like they deserve another chance at life and they've gone through something horrible and I want to rescue them and give them the best life that I can. So I, he actually picked out Rex and named him because at our first apartment we were only allowed to have a dog that weighed less than 25 pounds so Rex fit that. And he is a little aggressive, but he has to warm up to you in order to like you, which I expected from a dog coming from the pound. But he's a very, very, very good dog. He's very loyal. Very cuddly. He's very... Um, cuddly. Huh? Cuddly. Cuddly, and he's very clingy. He, him and I have a stronger bond because when Mikhail was deployed, he was all I had. And... You'll notice that throughout all of my Instagram posts and my videos and my Facebook posts that I just bond better with him and he bonds better with me. And it has nothing to do with, you know, me not liking Ebony. I love her. She just connects better with Mikkel than me. And we... I'll let you talk about Ebony, actually. Yeah, so Ebony... Uh, Elisa was dying for a second dog. She, she was like... Begging me to get a second dog. Thanks for like, dying. For, like, yeah. <laughs> like, dying. Like, but, like, she was acting like it. Like, we need a second dog. Rex is, <laughs> he <laughs> runs around the house. He loves to jump on our couch. He loves to dig things. He used to dig holes in our couch. He digged in our bed frame. Like, that's just how Rex is. He's a very addicted. But she convinced me. So, one day after work, you know, we didn't really want to go to SBCA because, like, the process takes too long. So... And the SPCA does not put dogs down. The pound does. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to get a dog from the pound because they will be in there for years without anybody adopting them. So Yeah, so Ebony has actually been there. She was there for eight months, they told us. I don't know how she didn't get adopted. She's super cuddly. She's super <laughs> very lovely. Clingy. Very clingy. <laughs> she's very big. Like, she's huge. She's almost the same height as me. She's like a Wattweiler mix. Yeah, Rottweiler and uh, the oh, lab yeah. mix. So, super cuddly. She loves to play. If I get up, she follows, she follows me. <laughs> she will follow you until, like, she, will, she won't stop following you. Like, I go to the bathroom, she'll lay down outside the bathroom because she wants to see what I'm doing. She's just one of those type of dogs, you know? So, yeah. Uh, there, I call Rex my dog. He calls Ebony his dog. But there are dogs. We both love them. No, they're both mine. Huh? They're both mine. They're both, they're both mine. <laughs> we, we love them equally. There's no, like, favoritism. But, you know, one of the dogs just clings better with, you know, Ebony clings better with him. And Rex clings better with me. And we both have a dog with us throughout the day. So it's a nice balance. And, um, I really, I like Rex because he, he'll cuddle on my stomach and stuff. And it's like having a little personal teddy bear. So, so it's, he's a cute little fluffy dog. Yeah. Um, so. Colorado, we currently live in Colorado. Yeah, so we currently live in Colorado. So I chose Colorado when I went to Afghanistan. So in order to continue in the military at the re-enlist, so. I got an assignment of choice to Fort Carson, and I love it here. Like, she loved it. The first week here, she did not want to be in the house at all. Like, oh we, God. like she, everything. She, everything. <laughs> she could tell you herself, like, Trader Joe's, Costco, she, like, anything. We found, like, all these places that we love. Uh, the Bunk Cake, we love. Uh, there's a popcorn place down the street she loves. Uh, there's Chick-fil-A here. We didn't have Chick-fil-A in... Um, Watertown. It was an hour Fordrum. away. Yeah, it was an hour away, and you're just not going to drive an hour to go get some yeah. Chick-fil-A. Some people do. Like, I'm not going to sit here and like, we have done it multiple times, but we're not going to do it, like, when we're hungry, you know? So, um, yeah, we love it here, and I don't know how she feels about it, but it's a, I love my unit. I love being here, so it's just, it's great all around. Yeah, I love it here, because I grew up in big cities. I've never lived in a small town until... We went to Port Drum, and 
I'm just so thankful to finally have everything that I need around me, like Trader Joe's, Costco, um, all the rest of, huh? And this is what I was talking about. See, <laughs> I was just looking at her just to see how. I what feel she's like saying. your mouth moves. Like. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> that's all she does. Like it's not a thing. Go lay down. Go. But yeah, I um, am really thankful to have a lot more stuff around me. So, and unfortunately, we I haven't been able to go anywhere because of all this. So I'm really having like withdrawals from Trader Joe's and Costco. And the first thing I'm doing when this is over with, I'm going to Trader Joe's and Costco. Because the only thing about Costco is I love their fruit. I feel like Costco has the best fruit around here. So that's why I go to Costco a lot. And um, Trader Joe's just has a lot of unique foods, which is why I'm really big on Trader Joe's. But unfortunately, the quarantine. Quarantine, so I can't really go there. But I will once this is over with. But, I mean, Trader Joe's is still open. You can still go there. Costco is still open. You can still go there. But I just... She's high risk. And I... Like, you don't know how hard it is to keep her inside the house. Like, she tries to, she tries to do bargain Where deals. With, she tries to do bargain deals with me. She's like, if we go outside the house, I'll put my mask on. I'll get gloves. I'll do this. Like, I just... I was like, it's just not worth it. Like, yeah. um, I just don't want her to get the risk. But we do have exciting news. After this whole epidemic is over with, we're thinking about getting a... Well, not really thinking. We we are gonna get a house. Uh, we're looking right now. Um, with the backyard for the with dogs. With the backyard for the dogs. So, is this the apartment's too small for us? It would have been fine if it was just Rex, but because Ebony is so big and she's very hard for me to walk because she's very, she gets so excited to go outside. She's very strong. She's seventy five pounds. It's, it's hard for me. I can walk her, but I I get nervous because when somebody walks by, she gets so excited and. My hands are turning purple. Yeah, so. and I also started with like the first time that Elise's ever walked her. It was icy <laughs> outside, and, and Ebony just <laughs> out the door, and she fell like straight on her butt. Dark from that, but yeah, it's, 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 she's just she's a very. But that's not the only reason we're getting the backyard, just because we want them to play. Because we don't want them just stuck in an apartment. Like, we take them out. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. Don't. I don't want you guys thinking that. We, we take just, them on walks. We so. take them on walks. I take Ebony and Rex on my runs to stay in shape. So, um, yeah. It's just hard because of the weather right now. Like, it's one day it's raining. The other day it's too cold. I don't like to be cold. So, I like to go outside when it's 70 degrees. So, it's kind of hard to, like, keep up with it right now. But next week, it's supposed to be warm. So we can finally get back into it and stuff, mm -hmm. but yeah, the cold just sets off my nausea, so I don't like to be outside. Mm -hmm. It's just too cold. And now I'm going to talk about the things that I like, like I'm obsessed with. <laughs> so now that I'm in my second trimester, almost, and I'm Sunday I will be, I am finally getting my appetite back so I can finally eat healthy foods, I can finally eat three meals a day, big meals a day and I can eat healthy breakfast and stuff. I was not a breakfast person before I got pregnant. I did not like breakfast so now that I'm pregnant I have to eat breakfast. So I've been eating a lot of eggs lately that are cooked all the way through and I'm just happy that I can eat snacks throughout the day and drink lots of water and Unfortunately, I gave up Dr. Pepper, which is my favorite thing in the world, and I'm trying to cut down on the sugar because I know it's not good for the, the baby to have so much sugar. So I drink sparkling water instead, which is it's gross. Yeah. The bubbly ones, but she loves the apple and what the orange, right? So. Yeah. But I mean, she adds like this little sweetener, which isn't bad for the baby. So. I mean, every once in a while, I'll get a soda, like when I'm eating out or something. I want a soda, but. I try not to, and I mainly just drink water and sparkling water throughout the day, and I have my glass of milk every morning, which I look forward to. I don't know why, but I love milk right now, and it has to be 2%. It can't be like, you know, almond milk, coconut milk. It, it, no, it has to be pure milk, <laughs> but... It's um, funny, because she was actually trying to drink almond milk before all this, and now she can't do it. No, it has to be milk so I have to make sure I have two gallons of milk in the fridge at all times because I will drink it really fast but 
I also am obsessed with Whataburger, if you didn't know. It's my favorite place to eat in the whole world. Unfortunately, we don't have one near us. The nearest one is 10 hours away, which is why I'm going to live in Texas. Not only that, it's just because the Texas has a lot of great stuff nearby, and they have Bucky's, which is a gas station that has so much great food. And I wanted to go to Texas this year, but because of all of this, I can't. So when the baby's born, I will definitely be making a trip to Texas. And I am old school. I am very, very old school. I have a very old school soul. I love the old school music. I love old school movies. I love old school clothes. If I could live in the old school time, I would. But I, I, I'm, our house would be old school if I could. I'm the reason why that's not happening. Like she, she's totally old school. She. I don't like rap music. I don't like. Um, she, let me clarify that. She does like rap music, but she doesn't. Some of it. Some but I'm of it. tired of it after a while. Yeah, she's just an old soul. She loves the old music. I get it from my dad. She's like the techno. That's why you hear the techno music all the time. Like I'd be like, oh, let's play a beat thing. She's like, no, techno or something like really flowy. So that's just her. That's just how she is as a person. I love 80s music, 90s music, 70s, 60s, and so on, mm -hmm. and uh, movies, I love old school movies, and I also love baking, I used to bake a lot before I got pregnant, I haven't, because the first time I said I was really tired and I felt sick all the time, but now that I'm almost out of it, hopefully my energy will come back and I can get back into baking but I love baking shows and crime shows like Criminal Minds and I don't like reality TV I don't like action movies I don't like I space out a lot I'll talk and then I'll I'll stop talking I think I get that from my dad he does that too <laughs> sorry dad I'm like I'm like calling you out in this video <laughs> but I do have the best parents in the whole entire world I will say that my parents are so supportive they've been supportive throughout my life me getting married young me getting pregnant young they are probably the like I'm so thankful to have them in my life and my sister she's a very good sister um, now that she's older we connect better and she's 14 I'm so sorry <laughs> Oh, now she's gonna kill you. Uh, gonna kill you. I think she's fourteen. Oh wow! I, was, <laughs> I don't think she's fourteen. I think she's but, 15, 15, roughly sixteen. She's been in high school. Was she a sophomore I, now? Sorry, Natalie. I don't yeah. remember. Sorry, but that. I'm just thankful for my parents. They have been a, a big support throughout my life, and I cannot wait till they come see me. And yeah. They're nice people. If you met them, you know. They're great people. Yeah. So, if you guys want to see anything, please let us know. Or if you have any questions about ourselves or anything we missed, just let us know. Suggestions for videos. We're always looking for suggestions. I always ask my friends. She always asks hers, her family. We're always willing to try something new. Yes, we are going to try. We're, we're going to try to get out more and uh, show you guys the mountains and stuff and do more clips like that. Just once this stuff is over, we're supposed to be opening up next week, so we should be going hiking. They don't extend it. Yeah, they don't extend it, but uh, we will be finding the gender out soon too. We forgot to say. That. Yes, we're they're gonna do a 4D, 3D on the baby and gender reveal. So we're probably gonna do a gender reveal party since we don't have our friends and family here. Um, we didn't have time to. Well, since we've been here, you know. Either way, you still can't do a gender reveal because of what's going on right now. We're, we're going to find some type of way to do it. Or try, if we can't do it, we're just going to share with you guys a review. I'm, the, I'm very patient. I just want to find out the second that she scans my belly. But he wants to do a gender reveal. Because so. I want to see how excited, emotional she can be. So, But uh, I appreciate you guys trying to find out a little bit more about us. And do you have anything for them? Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video.